They were on SpongeBob's pirate ship, pretending to be pirates, when SpongeBob saw something fluttering in the wind. He caught it and looked at it. Patrick, he cried, you won't believe what I've just found. What is it? asked Patrick. It's a treasure map, he shouted excitedly. Wow, cried Patrick. What does it say? SpongeBob read the first line on the map. Something old, something blue. Find this for the first clue. Blue, said Patrick, thinking out loud. Is it the sea that's blue? No, answered SpongeBob. But it could be the sails. They both looked up. I can see it, cried SpongeBob. It's on the deck, of course. That's blue. He pulled the egg over and they began to open it. Inside the egg was Woody and the next clue. What does the next clue say? asked Patrick. So Spongebob read it out. Look for a pineapple under the sea. That's where the second clue will be. Ooh, that's hard, sighed Patrick. It's my house, silly, answered Spongebob. Come on, we need to jump in the water. And so they both jumped into the sea. Down on the seabed, they quickly arrived at Spongebob's house. I can't see anything here, he said puzzled. Maybe it's inside, suggested Patrick. So Spongebob opened the door. A Spongebob egg, cried Patrick. Quick, let's open it. And so they did. It's a mini-me, smiled Spongebob. What a cute little fella. Is there another clue? asked Patrick. Yes, replied Spongebob. It says, the clue you seek is to be found under a rock on the ground. There are some rocks near my house, suggested Patrick. Great idea, answered Spongebob, and so they made their way to Patrick's house. There were two large rocks nearby. Patrick lifted the first one. Anything there? he asked. No, replied Spongebob. I'll try the other one. And he lifted the second heavy rock up. But there was nothing under that one either. Now we're stuck, said Spongebob sadly. Wait a minute. You live under a rock, Patrick. It could be there. So Patrick went over to his rock and lifted it. Sure enough, a surprise was waiting for them. It was a Mickey Mouse egg. Let's open it, cried Spongebob. Inside was Donald Duck and the fourth clue. I'll read out the next clue, said Spongebob. It says, look for a face under the sea. That's where the fourth clue will be. Hmm, that's the hardest clue yet, sighed Patrick. A face under the sea? I have no idea. They started to wander along the seabed. They soon came across Squidward. What have you got there? he asked. Don't tell him, Patrick, or he'll want the treasure all to himself, cried Spongebob. Treasure? Squidward's eyes lit up. I think we'll have to tell him, sighed Patrick. We're stuck. So Spongebob read out the clue. I can't believe you haven't worked that one out, he cried. Just look behind you. So Spongebob and Patrick turned round and stared at Squidward's house. Of course, cried Spongebob. I can see the face. But where is it? asked Spongebob. It must be in the house, answered Patrick, and he opened the door. 
It's a Kinder Surprise Egg, he cried. And they began to open it. Inside was Optimus Prime and the last clue. SpongeBob read it out. The final clue you can keep. A Krabby Patty's what you see. The Krusty Krab, they both shouted, and off they went. But somebody had already beaten them to it. Squidward and Sandy are here, cried SpongeBob. Oh dear, replied Patrick. I can see the treasure chest, but Mr. Krabs is standing right in front of it. Mr. Krabs opened the doors. Is this dirty old chest yours? he asked. Yes, answered SpongeBob quietly. Then you can have it back. It's cluttering up my restaurant, he shouted, and pushed the chest out towards them. Woo! said SpongeBob to Patrick. I thought he was going to keep the treasure for himself. Let's open it, suggested Patrick. So they did. Inside the chest was a black capsule. It's going to be a rare surprise toy, said Patrick excitedly, and they opened the capsule. Inside was a Star Wars Stormtrooper. Wow, they both said together. The best treasure ever. Thank you for watching our video. Here's another one you may have missed. 